What is your experience so far about Renaissance Academy for free classes? Um, it was great. We've got taught so many things and we've learned so many things. Really? Yes. So the way you came in is not the way you are right now? Uh, no, not at all. Have you been to any free lesson around this place before? No, this, no not at all. Not at all. This so are you okay with how things are here or is there something you should still want more? Mm. Yeah, okay, but not with all. So, like, like what do you want more? Some sti um, some tissue material. Okay. What can you say about this place so far? Um, so far, the lesson is a great lesson. It has been good. I've learned a lot. Okay. It's not the way I came here. I am I am now. All right. I've really gained a lot. I've learned a lot. <laughs> But since when I've been here, I really gained a lot. So the lesson is a great place. So for the fact that this place is a free lesson, you guys don't misbehave. No. Your colleague, what can you say about them? Have they been the attitude have they been very good? Alright, so um what are the things you think you guys think you want more for learning process to go more smooth? We need um, more teachers All right. and some educational materials like uh, laptop or like we jam students now to okay. practice more before our uh, jam so we can know how it is in the jam or okay. I think that's just um, so it's as good as your point to write by egg. Yes. How did you come about this place? Anybody told you or you find it online or yeah, it's someone that told me that we are having a free lesson. I was just like free lesson because it's not rampant in this community. Free lesson. I thought I even thought that maybe coming here, just small subjects, go home. But um, when I'm getting to this place, my thoughts change because I've learned so many things and we have been taught so many things. Those things in place. Your learning process will go better. Not really much. Um, study materials, not teacher. Like Why do you study materials like what? Can you give an example? Like laptops, textbooks. Textbooks, laptops for online practicing and so on. Yes, textbooks for maybe my students, young students, and other. So, my name is Kubi Zoshuade. I'm the coordinator for the Life Science the Free Lesson Initiative. That also includes adult literacy and um, uh, vocational training. Uh, this initiative began in 2012, where a few individuals like myself, Tayo, and Taiwo, um, me, two knees actually, and Shike and a few others. We came together. We came together and we decided, yeah, Moshe is an area where a lot of bad things have been said and thought about the area. But we can do something. We felt we can do something. And we felt, okay, what can we do? Okay, we can do this to try to impact on society. 
we took um, students from secondary schools, we felt we can bring them together, try to impart some of the knowledge, some of the things we've learned into them. How do we how do we do that first? We need to get a center. We sort out a few um, individuals in the area that have prominent and some people supported, some people did not want to support because they felt we were trying to take the light or the shine away from them. But we, have, we thank God and appreciate the fact that some people saw good in what we intended and they gave us the opportunity. I especially want to thank um, Dr. Louise, Louise Banner because in our initial stage we had a lot of setbacks. If not for his intervention, we would not have kickstarted this program. We thank him and we continue to thank him and God will continue to bless him. We started the program, students joined, we had teachers, we supported because even at that time we didn't have much support from individuals. And by 2015, 2016, the government laid embargo on, on um, lessons generally, basically because of um, Ebola at the time and some other issues that I had to do with so some official, I don't know, government issues. So by mid-2017, we came back again, we initiated the program, and we are back on track. Um, right now, I would like to appreciate a few individuals. I've mentioned Dr. Muniz Banere, Louise Banere, um, Mr. Ade Atobatele, Honorable Tokubo Odutola. These people have contributed to the sustenance of this program, and I really appreciate them. We can all do more, and right now we need a lot more finance to make this a continuity, to make this a force to be reckoned with with regards to leadership initiative, with regards to enlightenment, youth empowerment. A lot of opportunities can come from this program that can have positive effect in this our local government. The students, apart from the fact that they come here to receive free lecture, free lessons, they also have the opportunity to choose different vocations that they feel is um, related to them easily. We have hairdressing, we have barber, we have um, painting. We have, we have a whole list of vocational exercises that you can go for and learn, after which you can empower themselves. It's not necessarily what they will do after finishing secondary school, but it is something that they can use as a skill for themselves. Now, uh, those are these programs that we have. We are hoping to expand to to more technical courses, but everything is still about me. So we want to go on uh, programs that we will not be able to uh, put the children on. That's why we are still restricting ourselves to certain programs right now. The easier ones that we can those those ones I mentioned and. I think um, panel beating is also one of them. Mechanic, uh, auto engineering is also part of them. Those ones we can still talk to one or two people that we feel also, because we also run adult literacy programs. So some of the people that are part of the adult literacy programs are part of the people we use for the vocational training for the children. So that's how it is for now. So we have leather lining, fiber. Here is foreign soul. Okay. For and this is top heel. And also this sewing. Okay. This sewing is just like a design. And there's a stamp there which you use. And also you when you, you gum it, when you gum it, you use armor in making it firm. Okay. And also we have what is called white gum, but it's just that we've used it. Okay. So after making it, this one is um it is called elastic. Okay. And this one is called sanity on ornament. 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 Okay. So this one is blue pink. Okay. So this one is blue pink design. This one is sanity. How can you use? If you complete this one, how much can you sell this one? If you complete it, have you completed it? Yes. Okay. So and this green belt. This belt. This elastic. This copper lay and this copper leather. This rivet, rivet, copper leather, this leather lining, this foreign sole for and this top heel. And also 
a, a design. It is stamp used with oil. Did you did you make it? Did, so did you do this design or that is the way it comes from the market? No, we make this design. Made it with one no with one metal. We go to so it's, uh, uh, they took to somewhere. Uh, stamp. Yes, stamp. The stamp we stamp used. it with one old metal. Okay. So it uses electricity. Then you put it there. Then you stamp it. You tight it. When you tight it, the design shows on it. My name is Comrade Domoshike. I'm the secretary of the Renaissance. We are doing freelance in our vocational training for the youth. And we started in 2012 till 2016 when the government put them back on the school we are using. And thank God the one that gave us the school we are using now. And we started about four months ago. And the program has been going on fine. Um, the youth are the, the junior class, we start from GS3, XS1, SS2, the YX students and the JAM students. They are the one we are doing the free lessons for. And the vocational training for each and every one of them to make them like training for them doing nothing. And um, we started the vocational for like a month now. Each and every one has his uh, homework they are doing every week. We have our upholstering, we have our makeup and catering, we have our um, decoration, we have our um, shoe making, we have furniture, we have hairdressing, and we have barbie salon and so on. Also, we are doing adults of education, and the adults they are doing vocational work. That one. Um, what we need now is the support. We need support because we are just running it with our money. And Mr. Abi Atobatol and we really appreciate him because he us. And Mr. Tokumbo Ojisola, he supported us too. We really appreciate you people. We still need more support, teachers and our vocational trainers. Only in the design, in fashion design. From Renaissance Academy. Are you enjoying it? Yes. Okay, talk to you later. Alright. Yeah, yeah. My name is Adebe so and uh, one of the uh, members of this uh, organization, Renaissance, uh, who organizes a uh, free tutorial center here in uh, it's, uh, it's been a very uh, tough journey so far, like some other colleagues have said. We started back in 2002, and since then we have been in this course. Uh, we are very young, male and female, who came together because we believe that uh, education is the greatest thing we can use to fight corruption. Like we said, the era is bad, the era is bad. But we believe that we need to start from the root. That is why we came here. Okay. Even though we want to fight, we want to make this place a better place. Education is the first thing we need to do. That is why we started this. And so far, like uh, other people have said, many people have supported us. Uh, Dr. Ms. Pyler has played a role of a father, a role of uh, a leader. He has, he has really done great because uh, he supported us morally in uh, getting a uh, location for this and also other things he's done. So, um, generally, the program is very good. Um, the students are happy with it. There are some kids that their parents don't have money to send them to tutorial centers it's an opportunity for them and the, the parents are really happy that such thing is coming to assistance but many people don't believe that such stuff like this will come up in Mushi but with um, good minds cheerful art and kindness of some individuals um, headed by Mula Eta and group of organizations many of people have come together and we have been able to put this together and my own um, advice is just that uh, we need more support as you can see we are very young people. We we are we didn't enjoy this in our own time, but we believe I want to give privilege to some people to also enjoy this. We need more funds, we need more support from um, great people like you out there to support this motion, to support this um, movement. Because we believe that in this play, in this kind of movement, we can actually make pushing Lagos and Indiana to get out of this. So my advice is that let's support the great movement. And we really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. The convener of the Renaissance. Uh, I'm supervising this particular international project called the Renaissance Academy. Um, like the coordinator has said that he started the program since 2012. 
then God helps him out, we are still doing it. There was a time we stopped, due to the embargo, we got to go make things on the USA jobs, government jobs. Thank God, they gave us the opportunity last year, 2017. We have started it, and thank God, it's on. Um, what I will talk about more is the, the project we are on now, which is the free tutorial uh, center for the Wahek, Jam, Majot, and the vocational training. One of those things is we do symposium, uh, we organize symposium where we call professionals to argue different topics. This is a way of motivating the students. It goes beyond uh, uh, teaching or uh, teaching them how they can pass the exam. The exam is about it's also about how they can be sound morally. They, they can upgrade uh, up their level of uh, behaviors and we train them to be leaders because we believe these students are very sound. We are even lucky. We selected them especially that they have sound students. They have improving themselves. Not only really academically, they, they wrote these songs, they formed songs for the Renaissance, and they are doing well. They have, been, they have talent, but what I'm, what I'm saying is, we are very, I'm very happy we have the students who we can be part of, and we have 11 teachers. Um, and they are doing very fine. So, teachers and lecturers are. Uh, in some schools, not a full time lecturer. He just wanted to see that they have the content of whether it's true. Um, and about the members, you can see my uh, the members are doing fine. We select ourselves in fact in the best point selection. They are doing they are committed and dedicated to the struggle. They want to ensure social justice and the betterment of humanity. And we have quality teachers, quality members, some are not even around. Some are staying in different local government. We want to extend it to other local governments. But because of the money, that's a bad thing with issue. It's money. There's not that money. And we, we employ, uh, we beg our people to give support to this. Because it's not only about um, teaching. We are teaching more. We are motivating the students to be leaders. So we need money to take it far. You shouldn't be in Russia alone. You should take it to other local governments. And we can, we are in our government to, they have given support, they gave us some support on IDO, which is, which give us support on education actually, even they are doing it at the international level. So we need money and support, more support from government and, and individual. Some are supported like uh, Mr. Atomatele, Ati Atomatele, and I know you do, uh, Ati Tokumbo, Tokumbo, Mr. Dr. Miss Banya has given us a great support that, we well, even telling some people to support this program, it's a good program. And he's been very happy with it. I have to give kudos to him. He's a great man, a mentor whom we also follow. And more people are showing support, Dr. Fulabi, Mr. Kamukola Jai. But we need more money because it's not easy at all. Still, we are saying things on the side. The other things we need, we need a need library. The other uh, extra curriculum activities is what we do for the students. Not only studies, they need to play, exposed to some social things. We need CBT uh, computer where the student can rehearse uh, or do a uh, can work on the baby rehearse on the uh, system. But all that is we just need support. We want to take it far. We are ready.